Hey everyone, this is Sean, uh, and I want to talk today about solar energy and why now is the time to consider solar energy for your rooftop. Whether you're a homeowner or a business owner, prices have come down. They've slowly been coming down over the last several years, and now is, is, is the time. And I'll talk a little bit about that as I go through this. Let's start out talking about um, the market, the state of the market. Okay, I'm going to use the National Renewable Energy Labs. Uh, open PV market mapper okay uh, this is a really cool tool you can actually use this to to see where the state of the market is for the solar industry uh, I want to point you to this chart right down here okay you can see that over the last few years this is 1998 over the last few years solar prices have consistently been dropping and they've sharply dropped in recent years and this this is why I'm making this video the phrase has always been solar is too expensive you know but we know that as the price of solar drops slowly uh, eventually it'll be competitive but when will that happen when it when is that price point well that price point is now okay solar has dropped drastically even this is 2012 right to in 2013 right now the solar prices are even cheaper now is the time and I want to point you to this chart over here this is showing uh, how many people are installing solar in the United States. It is skyrocketing. It is skyrocketing. Why? Because solar prices are going down. Everyone is jumping on the bandwagon and I think that it is very important for people to know why and for people to truly understand the state of the market. Okay, let's go back to the slides. Alright, so you often hear this phrase, solar is too expensive. It has been for decades, ever since solar was invented. Now don't get me wrong, solar is not a small purchase, it's still a big purchase, but is it too expensive? Payback. Payback is something that a lot of people use. How many years is it going to take me to make my money back? Let's say I put down $10,000 on that solar system or $20,000. How many years is it gonna take me to make that money back? 10 years, 20 years, whoa, 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 whoa. 10 or 20 years? That's a lot, okay? Well, guess what? Payback is not what you should be looking at. It actually makes no sense in, in, in this context, okay? Imagine a car, buying a brand new car. Rarely do people drop a bunch of cash to buy a brand new car. Yes, there are some, but the, the matter of fact is most people don't have that kind of cash laying around they finance the car now in the case of a car if you're rich and you can afford to put down 100% cash on a brand new car that's better because you save on interest well for solar it's actually not better to put down cash for a solar system and calculate your payback it's actually better to finance your system and I'm gonna talk about that for a little bit all right imagine for a second that somebody comes uh, knocking on your door and says, hey, I will put solar on your roof free of charge, no cost to you, okay? I will be your utility. I will put solar on your roof and will sell you power. And when it's all said and done, you can be green, you can be eco-friendly, but when it's all said and done, your utility bill will not change. Whoa, that is amazing. Now, some utilities offer programs where, okay, you can buy green power or buy wind power or this power, that power, and you, maybe your bill will go up five or ten dollars a month. Well, what if, what if your bill did not go up at all? In fact, what if your electricity bill actually went down? That's what I'm talking about here. This is why I've made this video. Now, if all solar was was cost, it would never make sense. The fact is solar has both cost and benefits. And now is a time when the costs have come down enough so that the costs and benefits balance out. This situation, this financing, is called third-party financing. It's called a Power Purchase Agreement, PPA, Power Purchase Agreement, or Solar Lease. There are different types of third-party financing. Basically, what that means is that the solar company puts solar panels on your roof, whether it's a house or a commercial building, put solar panels on your roof and they become your new utility company. They own the solar panels and they sell you the solar power that's generated from those panels. That is awesome! So you can have 
your very own power plant. Instead of the a regular utility company owning a coal power plant or natural gas power plant miles and miles away and you buying electricity from them, you now get to buy electricity from solar panels on your own roof. You get to be green, eco-friendly, latest technology, and your, you, your solar company is your new utility. That is awesome, okay? Now, how does this work? So imagine for a second your old utility bill is maybe $200 a month. These are just example numbers. After you put solar on your roof, you start saving electricity, so your new utility bill is only $100 a month. But since the solar company is your new utility, you have to pay them a bill too. So that's this, this orange bar right here. So your old bill is $100, your new bill is $100, and your new solar bill is maybe $70, but when it's all said and done, you may be paying less maybe equal to or less but not more okay than what you were paying originally and usually you pay zero down that is amazing that is absolutely amazing so so why why now well like i mentioned prices are are now low enough okay they've been coming down for years and now is the time they're they're they've now crossed that threshold in many places they're low enough Another reason is that federal incentives expire in 2016. That's just around the corner. That's not far away. Pr solar prices will continue dropping and after the uh, uh, federal subsidies expire, they may still be competitive because they'll be cheaper than they are today. But right now we're really in a sweet spot where prices are low, subsidies still exist. And then there's this last piece, the war on net metering. And I'm gonna talk about that just briefly. Okay, the war on net metering, what is that? Well, think about it. The way things work right now, if your solar panel on your roof provided all your electricity, you'd basically not pay the utility company anything. Imagine if everyone did that. Imagine if everyone had solar on their roofs and nobody paid the utility company everything. Well, that doesn't make sense because the utility company still needs to maintain their power lines. They still have to have people manning the power stations. They still need to stand by for, you know, if a cloud comes over or at nighttime to provide electricity for you. So they can't, they have to make their money somehow. So that's the essence of the war on net metering. Before it didn't matter because not a lot of people had solar panels. But like I showed earlier, solar is booming, it's exploding. The price has come down and people are starting to realize that solar makes sense. So the utility is like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is not sustainable. This is not fair. We need to, you know, we need to change the way we do business. And of course, the solar industry is fighting, the utilities are fighting, and there's, there's this war. And I won't go into the nitty gritty of that. But basically, that's another reason why now is a good time, all right? It's going to take a, a few years for things to kind of shake out and settle out and for, for things to be worked out. But right now, the way things are, it's very attractive. Okay, you got federal subsidies, you got low prices, the way net metering works is, is in the favor of, of people with solar panels. This is an important time right now. So that's really what I wanted to cover, very, a very quick video to just show some of the reasons that maybe many people already know, but I just wanted to put it in the form of a video so that a lot of people can understand why you should get solar. So what do you do? Go to Google. Find your local solar installers, okay? Support your local business. Call up a few installers. Maybe not all installers might offer third-party financing or PPAs or solar leases, but you know, call around, ask around. And solar, even though it makes a lot of sense right now, it might not make sense for everyone. There might be some people with uh, roofs that are shaded because of trees, or there might be some people who have roofs that are facing away from the sun. But you know, you owe it to yourself to at least find out. So make the effort, make, the, make a few calls around and you will know. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please like the video and please share it, spread the word. Thank you so much for watching.